Go ahead, have that, fire away. Yeah, you many congratulations, um, not just for the call-up, but for the season. How pleased were you with the way it went, with the goals and the awards? Yeah, thanks very much. Um, yeah, obviously it's a very proud moment for both me and my family and um, the journey that I undertook. Um, so, yeah, it's 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 a proud moment, all right. Um, it's been a great season, both as a team and personally. So, um, no, I couldn't imagine going over this time last year, um, how well it's gone. So, um, I'm very thankful. A lot of the Irish players go straight into the English leagues. What took you to Scotland? I suppose there was a few factors. Um, I was coming out of a contract at Dundalk and um, I wanted to try something new. Um, there was a few teams down south. Um, from speaking to the managers and that, and um, I don't know. Just I wasn't really getting a good vibe off any of them. Um, to be honest, um, I wasn't sure if I'd play regularly. Um, they were kind of just taking a chance on me maybe because I was free. So. Speaking with the gaffer um, at St. Mary, he really sold it to me. He really wanted me there. Um, he, he, he basically told me, I hope you're only here for, for a few months or a season or two. So um, he just said, use this as a stepping stone. And um, yeah, thankfully it's worked out that way so far. And um, no, I'm really enjoying it. Because we've seen quite a few uh, of the lads in Ireland not getting a lot of game time, particularly this season. Uh, can you sort of put a price on someone at your age and your development playing week in, week out? No, I don't think you can put a price on it, to be honest. Um, I was fortunate enough to be kind of experienced um, in the League of Ireland. Um, I got my chance there from a young age under Liam Buckley and um, I'm forever thankful for him because I was playing men's football from 17, 18 years of age, whereas a lot of people my age at that time might have been playing in academy football, under 23 football, so... Um, no, I think that is very, very important and I uh, can't stress how thankful I am for Liam for giving me the opportunity back then. And um, No, I think it definitely is, from a young age, it is very, very important to, to play alongside men and y you get to learn things off experienced players that, that you might not in academies. Thanks, Jamie. No problem. Tanya Dunahee, please. Jamie, hi, how are you doing? Hi, Tony, how are you? I'm good, thanks, yeah. Um, congratulations on the call-up. And um, you must be in with a very good chance of, of, of getting game time, do you think, against Andorra and or Hungary? No, I'm just coming in. Um, I want to train well. Obviously, I want to put, put my best foot forward. I want to play. Um, I'm not coming in to try and make up numbers or that. So, But to do that, I need to impress in training. So that's my sole focus at the minute. I have to get in, mix well with the lads. They've been very um, very welcoming, which was nice. So, um, yeah, I just have to try and do well in the training pitch and take it from there. Stephen actually talked about like wanting someone in the number 10 position, which is where you have shown for him before. Yeah, Stephen signed me, I think, as a 20-year-old. So, um, I'd be very familiar with how he plays and um, he's probably familiar with how I, how I play. So, um, yeah, it's probably a help, to be honest. Um, coming in, knowing the manager um, and stuff like that. So, um, no, it's been a great few days so far. So, um, no, looking forward to it. Did you feel through the season that you, you might have been in his thoughts? Um, to be honest, it was always a distant thought. I was just focusing on going to Scotland, doing well. It was a big change from coming from Dundalk um, to a side that isn't used to winning uh, week in, week out. So, had to adjust to that, had to adjust to living away from home. So. I wanted to just focus on having the best season possible, doing everything I could to to facilitate that. And um, yeah, obviously uh, the bonus now is I'm in here now, so it's it's a uh, it's been a good year. Absolutely, well, it'll hopefully get better as well. Best of luck to you. Thank you, Tony. I'm in Kauza. Yeah. Hey, Jamie, how are you doing? Hi, Owen, how are you? Thank you. Um, just obviously you, you played for Stephen before, and like when are we? likes to encourage his own players like did he ever tell you why, when you were at Dundalk that he could see you making an Ireland squad no I don't, I don't think he was that was in his thoughts at the time um, he must have seen something if he signed me but um, no his sole focus was me doing a job for the team at the time I probably did take a, that first season just to bed in um, I was coming into a changing room full of winners and um, like big physical men so I had to had to adjust to that side of it um, and I think after my first season there I took off in the second season. We had a fantastic twenty eighteen. So, um, but no, I have I have really enjoyed working under him in the past. Yeah, but no, like when he was signing you, like what was he telling you? You like your your ceiling was or how far you could go? 
I never really touched on him, to be honest. Um, he obviously thought I had bags of ability and he probably was hard on my case because he probably thought I was kind of playing things safe and not showing my true kind of expression, not being playing with freedom. So I remember my first year, especially, he was constantly on my case, coming in at half time, stop passing the ball backwards, stop passing the sideways. I wanted to give the ball away. I wanted to try things. So, yeah, I'm very thankful for the way he, he managed me in that first year, especially. Change your attitude or change the way you did play? Yeah, I think it was more of a learning curve. Um, I was kind of coming in big side, big reputation. I kind of just wanted to just keep the ball. I didn't want to do that and give the ball away. So he was changing my mentality throughout that first year. And yeah, I am, I am thankful for that. Yeah. And, and when you were leaving Lundalk, I mean, obviously at the time, Vinny was trying to convince you that you should stay at home for one more year. But like, were, were you talking to Stephen or anyone like that about, or Sam and Emma to see what they thought you should do? Um, I actually got chatting to Stephen um at a wedding just before I'd actually just signed for for uh, Saint Mirren and he was just asking me um because I hadn't chatted to him in a while he was just asking me what are you thinking and I was telling him like I was just signed across the water so he was he was delighted for me he thought that that was probably the best step for me so um yeah like I said it's worked out well thank God and um hopefully you can continue yeah was that was that Dave Massey's wedding then yeah it was Dave Massey's yeah <laughs> just before just after Christmas yeah so. Thanks, Jamie. No, but our own. Thank you. Paul Lennon, please. Jamie, how are you? Hiya, Paul. How are you? Good. Um, I was talking to Jim a few weeks ago about, about this really good season that the club had, even though he just missed out on the, the, the top six. And he was extolling your virtues and saying that it was, he, he felt that Stephen should have a look at you for the senior squad. He was saying also, interestingly, that apart from playing number 10, that you do a more general midfield uh, job as well, that you can... You, you're not just a number 10 you can play in any position central midfield is that something that's developed in your game you think in the last year or two yeah I think definitely um, kind of at Dundalk it was kind of me Chris Shields and Robbie Benson and I'd kind of have the licence to be kind of one of the most furthest forward there but um, I still had to do a job behind me but I think this season um, the gaffer kind of plays doesn't really play with it an out and out number 10 so um, the onus was on me to get forward and support the striker but at the same time I did have to get back and and get behind the ball and get close to people. So um, no, I, it's a role I really enjoy, just getting around the pitch. Um, I like to get close to people as well, uh, as well as um, doing the other side of it. But um, no, I've really enjoyed it. And obviously, there's a, a lot of competition, a lot of young players going to the squad in the last year. So you think you're, you're capable of making the step up next full senior international level? No, definitely. Um, yeah, I've really enjoyed it, like I said, so far. Um, the boys have been very welcoming. and um, Yeah, it's up to me now to, to do well on the training pitch and stake a claim for, for the match on Thursday night. So, um, no, that's all I'm focused on at the minute. Um, just um, interesting, you, you come from uh, a place up boy where, where hurling is kind of the big game. Yeah. How, how much was it a choice in your sporting life to, to go for football? Yeah, my granddad would have been a massive hurling man. He would have played for Mead and stuff. Um, so, yeah, it was probably in the family, my cousins as well. But um, my father was a big football man. So, um, yeah, not that he kept me away from it. He always gave me the option to play whatever I wanted to. But, yeah, football was always my one my one love. So I didn't really play hurling or football. So, um, yeah, it was always football. And just to spoil a lot of speculation about your future, you've been over a year to go at uh, St. Mirren, but you've been linked... With clubs supposedly interesting you from both Scotland and England, has that been playing on your mind at all, or what's your your feelings for the future? No, it's not been on my mind. Um, I've just I'm delighted that to finish the season off injury free and um still hitting a bit of form as well. So it was nice to see out the season like that. Um, now so, um, I was just focused on taking a break, and then I got word that I'm coming in here, which was which is unbelievable news. So, um, no, I haven't really been focused on too much to be honest. Um, my sole focus has just been on this trip since since I got word. So, um, while whatever happens after this happens, but yeah, for the minute, my sole focus is here. Thanks, Jamie. No problem. Thank you. Okay, five minutes left, guys. So, Aiden Fitzmaurice next. Hey, right, Jamie, how's it going? Hi, Aiden. Just you mentioned Jim earlier on. Jim obviously had a good career as a, as a player, but just one cap. Did, did you have any chats with him about his regrets? Why, how he found it difficult and what you need to do to, to do better than he did at the international 
Yeah, I think from speaking with Jamie, he's very modest. He was saying at the time they were throwing out caps, but um, no, I don't think that was the case. I know he was very, very um, big part of that twenty one squad back in the day. Um, he was telling me that he could have had moves um across Europe, and for some reason or other, it just kind of fell through. So, um, yeah, I think luck has to be, play a big part in it, um, as well, um. So no, he's he's kind of briefly touched on it, but he hasn't um he doesn't live in the past either. So. Um, well, first of all, I'm just I work hard like everybody else. Um, like I said, I, I like doing the other side of it as well. So, um, yeah, I hope I can just fit in, fit in, and maybe um, add uh, hopefully add a, a goal or two. Um, I've been I've hit seventeen this season. I know a few have been from the spot, but um, kind of when you're when you're feeling it, you're feeling it. So, um, yeah, I'm hoping to come in and maybe maybe nick a goal or two. Yeah, well, I haven't experienced um, much football in England, so I can't really say. But from my experience of coming from the League of Ireland um, over to to the Scottish League, I found that League of Ireland from a from a young age was very very um, good for my development. Um, like I touched on earlier, um, a lot of lads at my age at that time were probably in and around twenty threes football. It might look great and everything, but it's kind of false at the same time. You're not playing against experienced pros. You're training with them day in day out like you can't be playing with experience and um, maybe even getting a slight dig or that off a off a big centre back or that so um, no I think it is a is a is a route and hopefully I've maybe set a trend for people staying in the league a bit longer um, but yeah I found that the Scottish League was, was very helpful for me as well and probably for that I wouldn't be here so thanks Ed okay and then finally Damien Spellman hi Jamie um just one, given, given the season you've had uh, and the fact that you could go back with a couple of caps, hopefully, do you think next season you'll be a marked man in Scotland? And if you are, are you relishing that sort of challenge of, of coping with that? Um, yeah, I haven't even thought about that, to be honest. Um, I suppose probably after Christmas that I probably was known for scoring from midfield. So, um, yeah, I, I did notice that maybe a few times it's been doubled up on, but... Um, I think at Dundalk, um, I probably learnt that every team week in week out was there to was trying to, to do you because you're there at the top, so they're trying to their best to knock you and prove that they should be in your boots. So, I think um yeah I have got some good learning from that 